South Dakota. Going after some turkeys. We've been on the road all day. We've got about two hours to have to go. Stop me in this tag. I guess this is going to be home for a week. Unless we tag out in them mountains over. What's the first thing you do when you get to your buddy's cabin in South Dakota? Clean out the gutters, of course. That's what I've been doing for an hour. Now we got to go dry off and run back to town for gas. I just gotta try to get him up here where I'm at. Alright, we might be stuck here. Let's Blink see. Shot and gaze.
they just went, they're going in and out. They went in 10 foot. Okay. Fresh tracks. Righty. Have we been here before? Well, if we, if we take a left, we can go up here and go north, get on this highway and head back and do a, something. We just go back and get ready for the evening. I'm headed in here to try to roost a group of turkeys that I got on this morning. I really don't know where. I'm hoping I can see where they're roosting and see the field that they that he was strutting in. See if they're roosting over there or over here. That's kind of cool though. I don't know if it was an old mine rail or what's going on here I just noticed that I'm gonna go up here and hopefully see him or hear him I don't know which I don't know if I'll get up that but if I can get up high enough I can watch the field and where I think he might be roosting at so we'll get in here and check it out and see what we can find
he's close, but he's still on the roost. to the road, right across the road. <laughs> mm -hmm. Boy, that's frustrating. Flies right across the road, flies across the creek, just keeps right on gobbling. Hmm. What do you do? I'll be back this evening. Try to get him on his way to the roost. Hmm, that's tough. Well, I'm still in shock of what just happened this morning. I thought it was a sure thing. Set up good, gobbled good. All I had to do was come in. It didn't work. So yesterday they crossed over into this piece. So I'm just going to sit here and wait what they do, I guess. Wait and see what they do. I don't know. They quit gobbling. And these are the only birds we know of, really. So We'll sit here for a little while and see what they do. And then we'll go see if we can find one somewhere else. Just doing a midday set, kind of killing some time, I guess. It's like 3 o'clock now, right? Mm -hmm. We had a local fella give us some pointers on where he hunts and where he would hunt if, if he was trying to kill a turkey. So, thanks, Bradley. Was his name? Randy. Was it? Bradley? Randy. Randy. That's what Jesse said. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, Randy. Whatever your name is. So we're going to sit here for a little bit and see if anything happens and then we'll head back and get in the roost position for the other one. And these guys are going to hang out around here, I think. We're just going to play it by ear and see what happens. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Can you tell? I can tell. <laughs> He's always excited, believe it or not. So we'll see what happens here. We we ain't heard anything yet. Lance did spot a couple elk three quarters mile away, so that was cool. Wasn't it, Lance? Mm -hmm. He was excited about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're just going to keep glassing over here and listening, see what we can hear. I'm back in here on the same place I hunted yesterday evening and this morning. Gonna try to roost him again. I got people partying over here in a cabin across the road, so I don't know if that'll mess with them or not. So I'm gonna go in here and see what happens this evening and get a plan for morning.
Well, I did roost them again. Uh, they just didn't roost where I wanted them to roost. I don't know why he roosted over here yesterday. It seems weird. It seemed weird to me anyway. So I'll try a different game plan on them tomorrow. See if we can see if we can get in range of them. That's it for day two, I think. Yeah, day two. Sat together. We just sat together. Ooh, I just got one. I got him. <clears throat> I just got me a Miriam. I think it might be a Jake. But I don't even care. I didn't get it on film. I don't even care. I got him. Ah. Oh. There he is. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Got him. Got me a Miriam. Oh. Probably a Jake. 
my hands. Oh, hey, work for it, boy. Oh, work for it. Oh. I'm shaking so bad. He about got past me. I had to stand up on my knees to, oh, I had to stand up on my knees to get a shot. I thought the hens would come first. I'd been talking to the hens. <sighs> did it. I did it. Oh, I'm shaking so bad. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I would have liked for Lance to get There he is. There's Lance. I was just going to say I wish Lance could have got it, but. Oh, thank you, Lord. I wish Lance could have got it, but we split up because he was going away. And I would have been fine if Gary would have got it. He's not too far from here, but they was going away from Gary. Got it, Lance. I did it. I did it. Got him. I was, you could hear me talking to the hens, right? I was straight across there. And when she kept standing there talking, and he gobbled laying on top of that feed there. But... I'm going to interrupt you. Guess what we're discussing? See that gun right there? Got him! Oh, Miriam. Still shaking. Got me a dang Miriam. You're up, Lance. Yeah, I circled down to the creek and was sitting there. I had just sat down and pulled the trigger. Uh, so. Did you hear him gobble? Gobble, boom! Uh, that. Well, he come around through here. I was sitting. See that tree with blue and orange paint right there? I was sitting there. And I thought the hens would come first. So I passed on him there. Because I couldn't see you beard for sure yeah. well then he came through a little opening and i was like he's a gobbler i don't care if he's a jake yeah. so then he and he and he and i was like dang that's him and i stood up on my knees and i puck 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 oh, boom oh man Good he's no jake but he's not a giant well, i guess i don't know nothing about marion's I would consider him a, I'm guessing a two-year-old for a Miriam. I don't know. Because he's not really a Jake. Yeah, his head ain't no Jake. No. And that's what I've seen. I don't know if that's normal for a Miriam. But he's a dang Miriam. Hey, you want to record him and get his fan out? That's what I wanted right there. I wanted that fan. Oh, dang. Got him. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Alright. Oh, I can't believe it. Total patience and accident. Well, I started. Because I knew the hens was talking to you, and I figured on this lead, it was straight off, up and down. Yeah. And I thought, well, if I do bump them, you got them. So it was either way up there. Well, I even told Gary, get ready, because they're coming your way. Oh, yeah. Come down through here, and he was going. I wasn't going to interfere with Gary's hunt. Yeah. And they come right back up this ridge. Oh, I can't believe it. Thank you, Lord.
Work for it. Work. I was getting discouraged. I was just saying, when I looked up and seen you, I was, I wish you would've got it. Just cause I get to do stuff like this. Oh, I'm out here, it's good enough. <sighs> Let's get off and get off here and celebrate and get some pictures. I'm so happy. <sighs> I can't believe it. I'm in awe. One still is 13 down, snowing. Yeah. It's tough to see. Wow. And thanks to Randy for putting us on this area. We He had something come up and was going to take us out this morning. So we thought, well, he said there's turkeys in this area. So we'll just come back out in here. So thanks, Randy, for giving us a heads up. All right, we're going to get some pictures and see what everybody else is doing. See if we can get some more. Whew, dang, Lance, I'm shaking. I'm so excited. I can't get Lance to have a celebration smoke with me, so we'll let him record. We'll get this tagged and get on down the road while it's still early and see if we can find one for Lance. Gary's not far from here. He's sitting in blind somewhere, so hopefully he's got some action. But these wasn't going to where he's at. I thought they was, and I texted him, and... They turned and came back to where they, towards where they was roosted. So hopefully he gets one, and we'll see what he's doing and see if we can find one for Lance. We'll get this turkey tag. just talking to the hens mm -hmm. and knowing they're getting closer and they stood down there forever seemed like oh no and why did they come around through here instead of follow that trail or path whatever it is over there? take a while to get over it all right here we go We got him. We got him. I'm going to show you all what we've been looking at for three days. Deer everywhere. And then you got elk everywhere. That's all elk out there. It looks blurry. It's still spitting snow. Everywhere. Elk for days. Boy, they're a beautiful animal. South Dakota is a pretty awesome place.
Alright, back to turkeys. Alright, I'm not counting.